This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Darius, it seemed like you couldn't miss in the first half. Uh, how, what type of zone were you in? And uh, with as high scoring as that first half was, how much, how, how important was that scoring early to keep pace with them and eventually, you know, pull ahead there at the end of the half? Uh, I was still feeling normal. Like, I was just still trying to flow within the offense and find the greatest shot possible for each one of us. And uh, we, we always fight to get a great shot on offense, so it wasn't a matter of just like keeping up with them. But we definitely look to score every possession down and get stops on the other end, every possession. Hey, Darius, you guys have won 34 games in a row, I believe it is now at home. Uh, that, that spans most of your career at Liberty. Uh, how special is it? I know it's been two different arenas you guys played in, but how special is it uh, to be able to have such a streak like that and, and be able to uh, put on such a strong uh, performance night after night for the home fans? Uh, it's definitely something neat to be a part of, and like it's definitely meaningful to come in home, and you want to secure home at all times and win each and every game. So it's definitely a unique feeling. I can't hear Damien. Sorry, Darius. Those back-to-back -back threes that you and Chris made after they cut the deficit down to 10, there that sparked the 11-0 run, how big were those? Um, there in the final uh, four minutes of the game just to put them away and you know, complete a weekend sweep. Uh, it definitely kind of took the lid off the basket. We were getting great like great shots, but we weren't like making them, and there was a couple of bobbles. But to get the, them two shots to go in and kind of open things back up was definitely huge. Darius, I believe that's three uh, half court or half court half half time first half buzzer beaters you've had in the last four games. Uh, where do you get that from? And also, you might have seen the video from uh, Caleb about what coach was saying to you as you went into the down the stairs. I think at Jacksonville last week. Uh, what did he say to you that that time? Uh, I mean, at halftime is all instincts, just reading what's going on in the floor and trying to make a play. But he definitely did say something ref like referring back to his tapes back in. Probably 1960, whatever. But Caleb, Caleb didn't have many of those moments, so he definitely knew.